how do you find understanding your emotions and when you're in the really deep dark kind of depths of, of covid and and social anxiety and sensory overload and things like that, how do you cope and how do you always pull yourself out of the dark dark times in your life um i've got to be honest you know with really dark times um obviously you know i lost my mum three years ago um i had to for the first time i had to try and because when my mother was alive you know she she would know something was wrong just by looking at me and the amount of time she came back and she would help me through those dark moments you know with with taking medicate ex more medication you know and thinking i've had enough i can't do this so the amount of times we've gone to a and e um and you know the doctors told me i was not far away from being in big trouble you know um it's just because i'm tall i could cope with the amount of medication etc um but obviously you know when i lost my mother i had to say i need help i, I had to and you know some of my cricket friends came came around and or people that I know in cricket came around and and helped me. But I had to I had to have a lot of help with sort of um, counsellors as well, um, which isn't easy again because I don't always find it easy to to tell people how I'm feeling. Um, I had to have sort of psychologists as well help me tremendously. You know by giving me different things um, by see, seeing different people um, to help me because otherwise I would not have been able to cope but at the same time I've also had to understand myself better and you know I know for me sport is the big thing that will get me out of that mood you know so even after Chelsea lost you know when Chelsea lose which is regularly these days <laughs> I used to I used to get I used to throw things out the window when Chelsea lost the match. Um, whereas now, um, understanding myself better, I know I'll get angry and I know I'll get upset. So, but then what I do is I obviously go to the gym and run faster on the treadmill. You know? Yeah, and 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 that really helps. You know, that's kind of I just, yeah. I just guess I I kind of understand my body a bit better. I understand my mind, um, and I've had to sort of grow up if that makes sense in the, yeah. in the past few years I've had to I used to rely on my mother to help me through things no I think it's well, it's, it's, it's incredible to see the journey you've come on and you talk so openly and honestly about mental health and asking for help and I think so many men especially young men don't ask for help I know there's probably times where I should have asked for help or, or I should have spoken to my family members more and I haven't because I've kept things bottled up. And to hear you talking to people and speaking to your friends and speaking to professionals when you understand that you're feeling down and feeling upset is is a huge credit to you because so many men especially wouldn't do that. And it's well, amazing I mean, that I, you're doing that. I kind of had to, you know, because the, the next day after my mum died, I, I, I used to coach in Bristol, cricket coach in Bristol. And the next day I, I went to, to coach in Bristol. Um, and then when I came back, I didn't want to come home. And the police had to come and find me. Um, so my stepfather was very worried. I didn't want to come home because I didn't want to face what had happened, and and you know I had to I had to face it, and, and yeah, you know um, I had to I had to because otherwise I was not going to live. I didn't want to I didn't want to live. You know my mother was everything, and and COVID as I said, you know the COVID lockdowns were so hard. You know. Particularly if you if you've got autism and you need a routine and you need, you know, I couldn't go to work. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do a lot. Um, um, yeah, without without these, without saying I need help, otherwise I'm not going to be around very much longer. I had I had to, you know, when you when you have to do something, you have to do it. Otherwise, you yeah. know, I had my I had my mum's voice saying in in my head saying you're not gonna you're not. You need to. You're not going to just go away, and and let you let let your life go away. Yeah. You've got to you've got to live. Yeah, I think you say you have to do it, but again, lots of people don't and 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 don't do it, and sadly do commit suicide or, or do not ask for help. And it's it's a, a credit to you that you you've 
felt confident enough and you understand your body and your emotions enough to do that so it's it's kind of congratulate you in a way for doing that because lots of people people wouldn't 